week in art, we are making pizza. All right, so to create our pizza, we are gonna use a cardboard cereal box, cardboard cracker box, whatever you have that is almost empty, or that you can take the bag out in the inside. So we want to deconstruct our box, and then take a pair of scissors and cut it apart. All right. So we are going to use one of these sides for our pizza. So the first thing you want to do is grab a pencil. I'm going to use Sharpie. I'm a little daring right now using Sharpie. We want to create our pizza slice. So we're going pretty big. So try to get your whole slice to fit onto your, um, onto your pizza box. It's okay. I'm going to use oil pastel so I can go over that. So, say this is like my middle of my box. You want to try to fill up your space. I stink today, my mind. So I'm going to use a little ruler here. Um, you want to use your high, whole entire um, one of your box sides for your pizza shape. There we go. So try to create your triangle shape the best you can. If you need to use a ruler or a box to help you draw a straight line, go for it. Just make sure your edge is a little curved. So I'm going to cut this out, and this is going to be my bottom. This is my base of my pizza. Um, so you guys are going to then draw your cheese, your sauce, your toppings on this side. You're going to color them in, cut them out, and attach them to your pizza. And we're actually going to make them look like they're 3D and popping up by creating layers by using little scraps to our cardboard box. And since it's Earth Day this week, why not create art with materials you already have and to give them a second life? I mean, this box would end up in the, the recycling box into the recycling yard, um, but now I'm giving it a new life. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create some sauce. I'm going to put the sauce. I'm going to just help you daring again and do it. And marking little guides to where I can draw my sauce. So my sauce, I want a little wavy. And then my cheese, I'm going to do here and while you're drawing your pieces to your pizza think about your toppings um, you can have weird and unusual toppings maybe a whole bunch of mushrooms sardines I'm gonna stick with olives so olives are and draw straw circles and I'm actually going to then get my hole puncher my single hole puncher and then cut out a circle on the inside I like, let's see what's next to my pizza. Um, we'll go for some onions. So you want to draw all your pieces on the cardboard first. You can cut them out or color them in next. And you can use any materials you want to. I think paint would be cool. You can use markers, color pencils. Um, you want to use more of a waxy substance because it's cardboard, so markers might not, or color pencils might not be the best, but it's whatever you guys you have at home, use them. I'm going to draw some broccoli. Because I like broccoli on my pizza. Like little trees. And on Google Classroom, I have posted a whole bunch of pizza toppings and pizza, pi pizza pictures for you guys to look at. Another slice of broccoli, another piece of broccoli, they're like little trees. Um, I think I need another slice of onion. And I like purple onions, so I'll do them purple. Um, what else do I want on my pizza? Alright, I'll go for some, a few slices of mushrooms.
I'll just put two on. I don't really like the fun guys anyways. So there's my mushroom. There's a little thing. All right, so I also want to raise up my pizza crust. So how are you gonna do that? Ooh. You are going to trace your piece Pizza. We want some height. We want some body to our pizza. Make things look popping off. And if you need any help, give me an email. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, so I got my pizza and I'm going to color these all pieces in first, but I'm actually going to take um, cardboard pieces and I'm actually going to glue these together and pile them up so they stack on top of each other. And if you have cardboard at home too, like thicker cardboard, like in the cardboard, cardboard box, you can use that. So I'm going to pile them up and then glue them on so that that way my crust looks a little higher, right? Because we don't eat flat pizzas. We have some dimensions. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll do a couple rows of these guys and it'll be raised up a little bit. Um, so I will show you that once I get all my pieces colored in. So what you guys want to do right now is to find a box and start creating your pizza. So remember, the one side of your box, the bigger side, is your pizza slice. Um, and then the other side is your ingredients, your sauce, your cheese. Um, and think about the ingredients that you wanna include in your pizza. So remember, there's a whole bunch of stuff in Google Classrooms that I have uploaded for you guys for pizza creations. 